Hello and welcome to our virtual Year 9 Options event for 2021. My name is Miss Jones and I'm the Assistant Vice Principal here at Rye Hills Academy. Firstly, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this presentation, which will help you to support your child as they make some big decisions about the next stage of their education. This picture shows why we do this, so that in just over two years time, August 2023, we can see our current Year 9 students, your children, you, smiling and cheering as they collect their GCSE results. During this presentation, I'm going to talk to you about the option process and changes made to GCSEs in recent years, so that you have all of the information you need to be able to support your child in making these important decisions. So to start off with, let's go through some of the most common questions and queries, just generally the things that can be areas for confusion during this process. So firstly, Progress 8. You might hear mention of Progress 8. You your children might talk about Progress 8. Progress 8 is a performance measure. It's how schools are judged. It takes student SAT scores from year six and then forecasts the grades that they should get in eight key subjects by the end of year 11. This works out a score per child and then a score for the school overall. What this means for you and for your children is it affects the subjects that they have to take as part of their options. So all students have to take English, Maths and Science, as well as one of Geography, History, Spanish or French. This is a requirement by the government, it's not the school that makes this decision. Another term that you might hear mentioned during this process is EBAC. The EBAC refers to a set of qualifications. These qualifications are English, Maths, Science, a Humanity, so Geography or History, and a Language. Some students have already been selected to follow the EBAC pathway based on their progress in Key Stage 3. However, any student can opt to take these subjects if they want to. Science is often a source of confusion during the options process. Science is compulsory, but there are two different science pathways. Trilogy, where students study all three sciences, sit exams in all three sciences, but get two GCSEs. And then there's separate sciences, where each science is studied in more detail and more depth, and students get three separate GCSEs, one in biology, one in chemistry, and one in physics. The science department select the students who they feel will be best suited to separate science and this information is in the email you should have received about the options process. Finally, in a climate of very tight budgets, it's really important to be aware that subjects may not run if too few students opt and some subjects are often oversubscribed. This is why it is really important that the students think really carefully about their second and third choices. Option forms are date stamped as they are completed, so that if a subject is oversubscribed, the order in which forms are completed can be used to allocate students to subjects. So in years 10 and 11, although there are options, there are a number of core subjects that all students have to study. Some of these core subjects will result in a GCSE qualification and others are required by the government to form part of the curriculum, even though they don't result in a GCSE qualification. So as you can see on the screen, each student in year 10 and 11 will study the following subjects. They will get a GCSE at the end of year 11 in English language, English literature and math. For science, depending on which pathway they follow, they will either get two GCSEs if they do trilogy or they'll get three GCSEs if they do separate sciences. And then they'll do core PE and a mixture of beliefs and values, PSHE and skills for life. They will then, on top of this, do their three chosen option subjects. So 2021 has been a year unlike any other. More home learning, virtual parents' evenings, and for Rye Hills, the transition to a new multi-academy trust. All of these things have contributed to a delay in getting started with the option process and changes to the way we have to run it. By now, you should have received an email with information about the option process. This will also confirm some decisions made by the Academy about option pathways, as well as your science pathway information. If you haven't received that email, please contact the Academy using the contact us and email address. We normally have an options evening where you can come into school and speak to different subject areas. This is not possible this year and is impossible to replicate virtually. So instead, there will be an opportunity to speak to subject leaders on Thursday the 15th of April. There are a limited number of five minute appointments, so please only make appointments if you have a specific concern or query about a subject. It's not a traditional parents evening to get an update on your child's progress. 
If you do have any general concerns or questions, I will also be available for appointments on Thursday evening this year instead of the option forms on bits of paper, option forms will be moved online. You will find the link to this option form in the email that you've already received. The option forms will go live on Friday morning after the options evening on Thursday evening and they'll be open for a week. Before you complete the option form with your child, please make sure that you've carefully considered the option booklet which can be found on the school website. Teachers are currently talking to all of their classes about their subjects at GCSE but the option booklet will give you the information needed to make considered decisions. So next steps and key dates that you need to be aware of. If you do feel that you need to speak to a subject leader or you would like to speak to me about a particular concern or query, there is a link to School Cloud, the booking system, in your email, which will allow you to book appointments for Thursday the 15th of April. As mentioned earlier, please do this sparingly um, as there are only a limited number of appointments. Following the options evening on Thursday, there will the option forms will be live on Friday morning and students can start to complete these. The deadline for, com the deadline for completion of these is nine o'clock on Friday the 23rd of April. Remember that the link to these forms and to the parents evening can be found in the email that you have received from the Academy about the options process. If you haven't received this email, please get in touch with us using the contact us email address or by calling the main reception. Thank you again for listening and we look forward to seeing you back in the school for face-to-face -face events in the future.